day, good day. Coming to you from the back porch. I'm gonna be doing today the cannonball rag. And uh, it's kind of a, it's easy in a way and complicated in another way. Uh, what I mean by that is the chord shapes are very common. It, but it's basically just the hybrid technique side of it that uh, gets a little bit confusing. Uh, but the, just to get you going on the chord patterns, if you're starting out in this style, on this style, is a huge start. And uh, basically it's a B7 pattern, a C pattern, and a F pattern. And basically all it is, but you're just doing it up and down the neck. And there's a lot of open strings that are left to drone. And uh, so we'll get into that slowly. And uh, try to concentrate more on the beginning to the chord progression and where the positions are. And um, the moving up and down the pinky and that. Been hearing that buzz off and outside. I don't know what it is. It's not from my house. Anyways, and uh, that's it. Stay tuned and uh, have fun. And by the way, I got my Alvarez out. That's an EP seven. Added a an armrest to it because the top is bubbling a bit, and I just want to keep that pressure off of it. Just to, it's not gonna crack or anything, but I just put that there as a safety precaution because I tend to hug it a lot because it's very comfortable to play. And um, yeah, even if you have a guitar or something like this, it's pretty much the ideal for a finger style or hybrid. Or of course, my G45 is a I can need that the Swiss Army knife of guitar, so that's a, it's just as good. But to do them finger styles I really love on this one so anyway they don't and you'll notice I don't have any markers on <laughs> on this guitar they're only on the top and I just have a 12 fret marker so I'm gonna tell you the position so it's a lot easier for you to do. to start out with you're gonna go a span from your seventh to the ninth, like this. You got your ring finger on the B string, got your index on the G string, and your middle finger back at the ninth. It's pretty much like a B7, a D7 position, just one finger back, but on these three strings. the bottom string and you're basically going to cross pick it. Basically you just go down with the pick and back up with the, the finger but it goes pretty fast. Instead of seven nine, it's gonna be six eight six eight on your G and B, and you're gonna add instead of having the finger there, it's like I'm going down one step, but putting back down that finger one fret. So basically. You just do the, the same. And there 
it's basically the same thing you did 7 9, but you're gonna do it 5 7. And after that, you're gonna do a G, the third fret, and the F position, in the F position. Again. Put your pinky on the B string at the fifth fret. It's right there. Hammer it on and off. And you just do that a few times. Seventh position. Just you're gonna get your ring finger one fret up. Get that that melody note. After that, back your G. But instead of the B string, gonna get the E. part and the second part of the entry is going to go on your C you're going to do your C it's going to go up one fret on your A string Seventh, which is your C seventh up two frets. Then you just go to up two more frets, which is E E seventh. Then you're gonna do your B seventh shape. Everything open, it's fine. When you're doing it so quick, when you're doing it really quick, you're not going to notice them open strings. This is very fast. And maybe you can even jump at B string, but it's not more than that. So, what are you going to go to your B7 shape at the 6? fret, then 5th fret, and you do your, your G. Basically the melody starts at your B7 shape at the 7th fret. shape underneath at the same spot, 7th fret, it's an A so you can bounce, here you are bounce, bouncing your, you're bouncing your finger on top, there's two options here when you do it like this, you can either use your big string, can rock that finger and you can do both and go from one to the other also. Okay, it's up to you what you feel you like more. Then you're going to do your B7 shape again, just at the 5th fret, 2 frets lower.
it's still on that D7G. And then you use your pinky and slide up to fret. And do them two notes. And then do your G shape underneath in the key of G. And always keep in mind that you can still bounce all the time. Just though when you're in your G shape, you pretty much have to do it like that because your open string is not going to go well because you're in, it's going to be an open A and E on top. When you're in the A position, your open root note is the A and E. It's not going to work here though. have to balance that finger. There. And just on your, your G shape, you roll your F shape for a G. Slide back on your B7 chain. That's that part. And after that, we're going to do a C7 shape. You were there on your G F shape for G. D seventh using your C seven shape at the fifth fret. And then you're gonna use your pinky underneath. And you can you go four or five here underneath your your note with your pinky, or you can just get four and open on bottom. Same thing. Then you're gonna do your F shape G again, but you're gonna leave the E string open. to do but when you're doing it fast it's, it's, it comes out a lot better okay then you just do a standard bluegrass do the type of riff you like to do it's basically just something to chain in to the next next time you're going to be doing that and you do that again string that's your D seventh E seventh your B seven shape at the six fifth and your G gonna do that slow
basically that's all it is and you can after you're good doing it well you can add it a bunch of stuff but that's just the basic basic uh, melody and chord patterns for the cannonball rag so enjoy keep Travis picking and uh, I'll probably do another one or or two of, of that type of uh, videos and there's a bunch of uh, instrumentals that you already play also that uses that technique um, probably the next lesson is going to be uh, the old uh, Doc Watson tune uh, uh, how does that go again? <laughs> Bunch more. Uh, if you want to continue playing on that style, you can message me in the group and I can put it in the, the backlog. And uh, that's it. So have fun and keep picking.